Hey y'all, welcome back. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa and for today's video, we are going to do the part two to my free swimsuit video. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will link my original video down below. I will put a card up here for you guys. But essentially, there is a company called Sunny Co Clothing that you may remember from this picture from forever ago where people posted this on their Instagram and they promised you this free swimsuit right here um essentially uh back in february i started seeing this ad on my facebook again from way back in the day and i decided to see if this was a scam what the swimsuit was worth all the things like that um so i got that bathing suit in again the original video is going to be down below but they sent me a size small um, and I said it in this video. I'm gonna say it again here. I'm not a size small you guys I'm a pretty hefty woman. I'm about five two five three and I weigh a solid 170 pounds um, Your girl is hefty um, And so the size small was not for me I did try on the swimsuit in that video for you guys to let you see what it looks like on my body and the cut um, And you can find out all the tea you can see it for yourself over there but in that video I also told you that because I got sent a size that wasn't my size it was kind of difficult for me to give it a full and honest review so right after I filmed that video I got off and I went and ordered two more of these swimsuits I ordered it in a size medium and a size large um, one because I wasn't sure what I would technically be in this bathing suit um, typically standardly I am a medium in tops and bottoms and one pieces um, it all does kind of depend on the cut and the brand but I was like, I'll order both, um, so I did. And I told you guys I would film when I got them in. They came right before I went on my cruise and I didn't have time to film and edit and get it up like literally two days before I left. And so I put them in my closet, but they end up getting pushed to the back of my closet and therefore to the back of my mind. So it has literally been two months since I filmed that video. It's been just about as long since I got these swimsuits in. I'm so sorry you guys for dropping the ball, but I figure today is as good a day as any to film this, do the follow up and show you guys one so I can either have a new swimsuit or I can just get rid of these. Um, when I purchased them, because I did look online right before I sat down today, you guys, this is still a running promotion. Um, you can still get the swimsuit for free. Um, they do offer it in the original Pamela, which is what I have today, but they also have come out with what they call a Pamela 2.0. Essentially, the Pamela is a standard 80s style bathing suit with the high cut sides, the very low back with the thin straps. Um, the Pamela 2.0 um, does not look the same it actually has a different cut on the chest it's more full coverage on the chest which I'll explain once I put the bathing suit on and it has like a tie back like a crisscross tie back and a ruching but I will have the website link down below you can see what I'm talking about um, when I ordered this bathing suit and got the promotion for free the bathing suit was marked at $64.99 so $65 you are not getting the swimsuit for free. They do give you a code, which right now is code SUNNY, which I think it may have been the same before. Um, and it, mock, it, it knocks the bathing suit down to zero dollars, but then you do roll around and they do charge you $15.99, so $16 for shipping. Um, so you're not technically getting the bathing suit for free, but you are getting what sounds like a really good deal. I will say again, like I said, I did check the website before I logged on, and you guys, they are marketing this bathing suit now, both the Pamela and the Pamela 2.0, for $99.99. $100 for this swimsuit. Excuse me, say what? Um, I will tell you if I think it's worth it. Um, I'm going off the $65 mark, but when I saw that, I was like, these people are tripping. Now, I will say I did continue on to see what the shipping was, if it did go up. It didn't. They still charge you the standard $15.99 for shipping. So, it makes it seem like you're getting an even better deal because you're getting a $100 bathing suit for $16. But, you guys, I have a feeling I'm still going to believe that this bathing suit is not worth the $65, let alone... $100. I don't understand the markup or the price increase. I don't know why they did that. So yeah, enough of me babbling. Um, I can't give you any more details until I try them on. So the reason I bought darker colors this time because I did buy a light color was to see if even if the material is kind of thin, is it less see-through um, and things like that. So that's why I bought black and then maroon. 
let's open this one and let me show you this color out of the package. I think this color is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it is a nice color. Um, again, seahorse on the bottom, high sides. This one's kind of easier to tell the structure of the swimsuit. So I will say points right off the back for me actually receiving, well, that's kind of annoying. Look at that hanging in there. And you want to tell me this is worth $100. Mm. Mm. I will say points off the bat though, however, for me actually receiving the sizes that I definitely wanted. Um, I will say the weird big difference that I noticed with this right now is the black has black insert here and this has white. Um, I know the one from my original video also had white mesh on the inside, so I find that kind of odd. I don't know why. Okay, you guys, so here we are. <laughs> this again is the medium in the original Pamela. Again, here is not a lot of room. I'm going to be very, very careful because one wrong move and my nipples will be exposed. I will say, unlike the pink one, they're not hovering on the very like cusp of this swimsuit. Like I got a little bit more room. But honestly, from here to here, you guys, there's just, there's no, there's just no swimsuit. There's not enough. Like I would feel much more comfortable if it looked more like out here, like if it hugged more along the edge but it doesn't. Um, again, I'm aware that this is meant to be, so it gives you like the side boob action. Kind of cute, like I get the side boob appeal, like I got it. And as someone who like never sees side boob, like that's pretty exciting. Um, but you know, I just, I don't feel very comfortable in this. I feel like the minute I do something, any sort of movement with my arms truly, uh, that it would just come out. I can't even imagine you guys, like this is how, little material there is. If I were to go outside right now and get in my pool and try and get myself up on a raft, my nipple would be out. Like there's no doubt in my mind, my nipple would be out. And my neighbors don't wanna see that, they really don't. Um, but yeah, so anyways, again, uh, high cut on the side, very low and exposed here, got those thin straps. You can see it's extra, extra cheeky, these ones are, cause you can see my tan lines from the suit that I wore yesterday. Um, I don't mind the cheekiness aspect of the swimsuit. Um, my butt doesn't stay in swimsuits anyway, so I just don't really care. I do think the back is absolutely adorable. I love the open back concept, the thin straps. I do like the little seahorse. I think it's a nice and cute touch. It's simple without being too much. However, this swimsuit, even though this is more my size, it is quite tight. Um, and I think it's because I did have to tighten the straps a little bit because tightening the straps does make this material hug to your body a little bit more so you're less likely to have your boob hang out. But that does make it tight in this area right here, crotch up. Again, I am wearing um, black underwear underneath this, a thong for sanitary purposes and so in case we saw something. I will say on my body, this does not look as thin and I think it just is the dark color unlike the original one that I ordered in that pink shade, which you can literally see right through. But I will say that this material does not feel very high quality. Still, it is very, very thin, thinner than like a standard swimsuit. I have a beautiful one piece from Target that just feels way better than this, and it actually, for retail value, costs way less than this. Um, so yeah, so that's how I feel on this one right now. I'm gonna go ahead and try on the red one, the maroon one in the large. Here is the maroon in the large. First things first, I will say this is my favorite color out of all three that I've tried. Um, the watermelon, the black, and this one. I think this is such a flattering shade, especially to be a dark colored swimsuit. It looks so nice, um, cause it's not too dark, but it still looks fun and flirty. I do like it. I will say, even though I'm standardly a medium, I like the fit of the large on my body. Um, from hip to hip, it just feels much more comfortable. From crotch to top, it is not pulling and very tight. I do like it. Um, and it actually, obviously because it's a large and is meant for someone with bigger boobs, it is slightly wider here to here. So I feel the most comfortable kind of like keeping my arms away from my body that my boob isn't gonna like slip out and say hello. Um, this is what it looks like all the way around. I did have to tighten the straps pretty high on these ones. I figured that I would because it is a large, so it's meant to accommodate someone with a lot more bust, especially. Um, 
So I did tighten the straps a lot on this one, but I don't mind that. I like that it has adjustable straps, so it gives me that option. I will say the only thing that I don't like about these is if you look at me right here, and I said it in my original video, do I not look like a male wrestler from the 80s? Like, I'm ready to get it going. Like, I think that's the only thing that's like actually kind of terrible about these swimsuits, is that with my body type, they're just not flattering, so I will say that, period. Um, and the only other thing I will say, and I'll show you like right here, like when I bend forward, um, because the material is white on the inside and it kind of bunches and moves because again, I don't really fill out a large. Uh, I don't like that it kind of moves and it was like sticking up earlier and I don't want to be walking around with like that part sticking out. So I will say that I wish that this one was lined the same color like the black. Like I feel like that was the best thing about the black bathing suit was that all the lining was the same color. I don't know why they didn't do that for every bathing suit because that would be genius. Um, so nothing would move and you wouldn't have to worry about anything. This one is pretty see-through. I'm pretty sure you can see my thong through the swimsuit right here, um, which is kind of disheartening because it is such a darker shade. I'm not sure if the black one would have any difference or the only reason I couldn't tell was because my underwear are also black. I don't know, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of this for safety purposes, and then I will finish up my thoughts. Okay, you guys, so now that I've tried both of these on, let's kind of compare them, and then we can like wrap up my final thoughts here. As far as the sizing, um, for me personally, for my body type, and for my comfort level, I think the large fits me the best. It does not fit me perfect in a way that like if I was in a store, I would actually purchase the swimsuit. But out of the small, medium, and the large, the large does fit me best and make me the most comfortable. I do not believe this bathing suit would perform well once it has been wet and it's weighed down by water, especially the lighter colors since they're already see-through to begin with. Being wet, it would just be so terrible. You would see everything. Nothing would be left to the imagination. I'm not even sure if like having the paddings would even help you because everything in there is so thinly made. Um, so I will never know what that is like because I am not gonna get these wet. Um, but I just don't think that's any good at all. Uh, I just don't see the quality there. When I look at this, they're not sewn very well together. This one is sewn much better in here than the maroon colored one. But on the crotch, I'm gonna just pull this off for a second. Um, but on the crotch, as you can see, there are strings. Can you see that? Strings sticking up everywhere. The stitching isn't good. Um, I just, you guys, I'm just not impressed with it. Like it's, excuse my coffee pot. I'm just not impressed with how thin the material is, um, especially since they can even think and have the audacity to try and charge you $65, let alone $100 for this swimsuit, you guys. Like I said, I stand by my original statement in my first video. This is barely worth the $16 that you pay for it. Um, I'm, just, I'm just not impressed by it at all. So with that being said, like if you want to spend money on it, if you don't care about $16 and you want to take the pictures and you're comfortable in this cut of swimsuit, then sure, buy it. Um, I will never buy one of these again. I don't even really want to bother to try like the Pamela 2.0 and see if that's any better. I personally don't think the material would be better. The coverage looks better because it's much more full coverage on the boobs and they focus a lot more on like the ruching on the butt and the tie in the back. Again, I will have the website linked down below so if you want to see the two in comparison, you can um, because again, you can still get these bathing suits for the $15.99. But in all honesty, like it, this does not make me want to shop on their website at all because I'm like, if your bathing suits are made like this, like what are your clothes made out of? Okay, you guys, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm done rambling because I think we all get the gist of my thoughts and opinions toward these swimsuits. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. It can be from now the fact that you've seen both of my videos, just how you feel that they looked on my body, am I being too harsh? If you've tried these swimsuits or anything else from the website, let me know. Are these the only things that kind of suck or do you think the clothing is of great quality? These are the only things that I have to go by, but they've made a very large impression on me as we can tell. So I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Thank you again for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.